Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. The birthday of the people's champion. Now the final boss, The Rock. Hopefully everybody wished the great one a happy birthday this morning. Hope everyone is having a great Thursday so far. First of all, just got to apologize. No new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Last night, watched the three hours of AEW first with Dynamite and then Rampage Also, after AEW last night, I watched the season three finale of Chucky the series. So, unfortunately, no new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic last night. But now that season three has wrapped up I might do if I bring back anything goes might do another episode talking about the third season of Chucky hopefully there are others that hopefully there are others who are fans of the show too but first things first let's get right into talking a little bit about last night's dynamite we found out that at the double or nothing pay-per-view may 26th that it will be the patriarchy Christian Cage challenging new AEW world champion Swerve Strickland for that championship. I have to admit that as far as my guesses go as who would have challenged Swerve for the AEW world title at Double or Nothing that Christian Cage probably would not have been at the top of that list. But as far as last night goes, to start the angle between them, had Christian Cage hit the kill switch on Swerve on the AEW World title, they took out Nick Wayne took out Prince Nana with the Wayne's World. I thought it was done very well so far with this angle. I'm sure that both Swerve and Christian are going to be great on the microphone as well. Very good promos. So I think they will be able to pull out a very good world title match at Double or Nothing. But also, the very start of the show, though, we saw Tony Khan in his offices in Jacksonville talking about why he wasn't there, which was the attack from the elite last week. And then all of a sudden, the screen starts glitching And then the signal is lost. And we see the EVPs, the Young Bucks, in which looks like the control room. And they say that they have lost Tony Khan. Which they said that last week he would be running Dynamite from Jacksonville. And this is the first week of the start of this angle where the Young Bucks are supposedly running Dynamite. 
And I think so far, first week, it was done pretty well. The question is, though, how are they going to keep doing this every week to make it seem fresh? I would think with this feud, it would end up with the elite facing a team that Tony Khan puts together in possibly blood and guts, which usually takes place sometime in either June or July. That's not official, of course. That's me just kind of armchair booking a little bit. But I could kind of see that happening. And of course, last night in Winnipeg, Manitoba, we saw the return of Winnipeg's own Kenny Omega. And we saw him taken out by the elite. And then the save from FTR. I thought the commentators last night did a really good job of putting over the fact that FTR doesn't really like Kenny Omega that much, but they have a lot of respect for him, and that is why they came out and made the save for him against the Elite last night. And that could possibly... I haven't seen just yet if Kenny is medically cleared to get back in the ring just yet. But when he does, I could see that being a trios match. Kenny Omega teaming with FTR to take on the Young Bucks and Okada. Then could eventually lead to the singles match Omega vs. Okada kind of try to le- kind of try to relive some of the history they had in their New Japan days which a match between Omega and Okada in AEW especially if they're given a good amount of time I'm sure could be great. And also on Dynamite last night, we had Adam Copeland defeating Buddy Matthews in a brutal match for the TNT Championship, which even saw Buddy Matthews spitting up a little bit of blood. Samoa Joe defeated Isaiah Cassidy Chris Jericho and Castellori Shabata. I could be wrong, but might be the first time I've ever seen hockey pucks used as a weapon in a pro wrestling match. Like I said, I could be wrong. I don't know that 100% sure if that was the first time or not. But Jericho retained the FTW Championship, defeating Shibata. Claudio Castagnoli defeating Christian Cage. And Serena Deeb defeating Mariah May. That was Dynamite. And Rampage, the main event. The TBS champion Willow Nightingale getting a victory over. Sorry about that. Had some tech problems there, real quick. Willow Nightingale defeating Sky Blue in the Manitoba Massacre match. Which, wow, was a lot better than I expected it to be. 
sky blue bleeding in this one going through a table with a barbed wire board on top of it Kyle O'Reilly and Rocky Romero having a really good match Jay White defeating Dante Martin and is it just me or was this live crowd in Winnipeg last night a little quiet for a lot of the show it seemed like maybe they just think into it for some reason. Don't get me wrong, there were parts, especially during Kenny Omega's return and the uh, Willow Nightingale Sky Blue match. They were really into that one, but there were some parts where they were just seemed like they were sitting on their hands. They were so quiet, but maybe it's just me. And that was last night's Dynamite and Rampage. Sorry, didn't talk about it last night on 360 Wrestling Fanatic. But let me know in the comment section your thoughts on Dynamite and Rampage. And also, if you also watched the season finale of season three of Chucky the Series, let me know your thoughts on it as well. And also, if you think there will be a season four, if it will return... And that's all for this Thursday morning episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you everyone for listening and tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow for Friday's episode. And until then, have a great pro wrestling day.